Hello, dear mothers. Good morning to you all and happy weekend. So I decided to come and sh uh, uh, have this talk with you as a mother, just like me. I was having this, this talk with my kids. They came to me and they were kind of telling me um, my second daughter, she will be seven next month by God's grace. And when she said it in school, she said some people were laughing at her that you will be seven and you are in class one. Meanwhile, those one, they are going to, they are seven plus, they are going to eight. So they make her feel bad that being seven is supposed to be, uh, like you're supposed to be seven before you be one, or I don't know how they make her feel, but the normal way in Europe is when you are six years, you enter class one. That is what my daughter, what happened to my daughter. Six years, she entered primary, which is primary one, sorry. And some people enter primary one at seven. So they, they, want to, they want to try to make her feel bad by being six years, being in primary one, which is the normal way. But based on, you know, you know some kids, the way they would do now. So I have to encourage her that it's not like that. Those people mocking you, they, they were supposed to be the one ashamed of themselves because at seven years, they're supposed to be in class two, which is primary two, which is her elder sister is primary two and she's seven. Now she's about to leave two to three and she's she just turned eight this month. So why I'm, why I'm making this video is as a mother, you should know the right thing to tell your child or your children. You know, because you see this bullying is everywhere. Even in Africa where we came from, is everywhere. So, and what I told my kids, and she asked me, mommy, have you ever been bullied before? I told her, yes. In our own family, in my own family, that's where the thing starts first. Let's be honest. It started from our family. So I told them, I said, my own started from my own family. And my daughter said, yeah, I think mine started to, I said, how? I said, because I said she's a, a tiny. I said, mommy, you are tiny, but you are not sick. This is how you were born. You were born. You were not even up to three kg. Uh, three kg. Yes. So you were tiny. When, even when I asked my daughter, my daughter said, you are normal. We should leave you. So I have to encourage her that, mommy, this, your station, there are a lot of people taking medicine, using artificial thing, just to have this kind of shape that you have. You are beautiful just the way you are. And I told her, some people will want some people will want to make you feel bad by having this kind of stature that you have. Let me tell you. As your mother, just try and maintain your stature. Eat well. Don't say, I don't want to eat. Eat well, but don't eat more than you can take. So just eat to your own satisfaction, maintain your stature. A lot of fat people, they are taking medicine. They are taking tea just to get, just to slim down. So you that have it, don't misuse it. So I encouraged her and I can see she was really happy and she was smiling. And so I told the other one, because the other one is kind of a, a little bit probably more than her. I told her, I said, you see your, your stature now. Some people that are even slimmer than you, they want to make you feel bad by you being like this. So I told her, this is how you were born. You were more than three kg, almost four kg when you came out. So God created you to this world like this. So you see this bullying that you are trying to avoid, don't avoid it. Because if you don't, you have, we have to make our children face the reality. Because if you try to make them feel that it's not, it's not normal, they would like, that's how some people will start feeling depressed. They'll start feeling bad. They'll start seeing themselves as if they are not worthy to be where they are. I'll continue.